Hi, my name's Alyssa and I'm Brightly's Low Waste Lifestyle Expert. If you're into sustainability, subscribe down below, become a change maker. But other than that, let's get started. Today we are doing a full review of Axiology and actually every one type of product that they carry. So they have their lipsticks, their lid to lip balmies, and their lip crayons. And I'm gonna be putting them all on, testing them all out, and telling you my thoughts. If you're new here, before I swap to living a more sustainable lifestyle, I actually uber loved makeup. I have a lot of it and I still own a lot of it. For the longest time, I said that I didn't own a lot of clean beauty because I still had a lot of makeup products to get through. Well, I wasn't a big lipstick person and now I'm kind of becoming one. So I actually don't have any lipstick anymore uh, except for one before I got these. So I decided to try these out and I wear a cream blush every single day and I had two left and one of them it has been expired and I didn't realize it because it totally broke out my skin. So I had to get rid of that one and the other one I'm using is already almost gone so I thought this would be a perfect replacement or I'm really hoping it's gonna be a good replacement so yeah I wear makeup often I just don't wear it every single day and I'm definitely not like a makeup artist or a beauty guru so this is coming from the POV of like a standard everyday person that would wear makeup. So yeah, I'm really excited about the lid to lip bombings because they are zero waste. So let's start with this, test it out, and talk about all the sustainability features. Okay, so here is a closer look at the packaging. As you can see, it's all like a cardboard. And I'm really pale and I got mine in the shade Peach because I thought it would compliment me the best. But they have a lot of shades actually. So I've already kind of tiddled with this one time. So as you can see, I stuck my fingernail in it. So that was me, not them. Like look how small it looks, that's my pinky. So it feels really small, but it's actually not. Let me tell you why. So I just bought one. So just one is $14. And I was like, $14, then why is it so tiny? And then I saw, heads up, this product appears tiny because we ditch the plastic tube, i.e. no packaging. Balmies are the standard lipstick size at 0.12 ounces. So it's basically an optical illusion that it's so small just because there's no packaging around it. And for example, when I saw my lip crayon, I was like, wow, this is a great size. But then I kept reading and they said that this is actually the same size as this. And they aren't lying. Like once you do the height difference and everything like these, are basically the same size. Well, not basically, I'm pretty sure they're the exact same size. So these are 100% zero waste. And what I really like about them too is that they're mixed with a lot of oils and they claim to be very nourishing. And I really like that, especially if it's going on my cheeks. I want it to look hydrated, very plump. So I'm hoping this is a good formula for me. And it says to blend these with just your fingers that you actually don't need a brush. But what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna have one side blended with my fingers and one side blended with a brush. So I'm gonna do my lid, my cheeks, and my lips. And then on top of that, I'm going to set one side with a powder blush on top and the other side I'm going to leave bare so that when I do my wear test throughout today, I can kind of get a feel of if this will stay good on its own or if you're gonna have to top it off with a powder. Honestly, my hope would be that it just stays on its own so that you only need one product, but who knows, let's find out. And in case you were wondering, they claim that these are synthetic, fragrance-free, alcohol-free, fragrance-free, gluten-free, cruelty-free, soy-free, and vegan. That was a mouthful, but that's all their claim. So if you're somebody that loves makeup or wears it a lot more than I do, and you're like, I'm gonna need more than just one of these, or you want different shades, they do a three pack for 36. So instead of $14 a balmy, it's only 12. Or they have this new like giant pack of like, I don't know if it's like every shade or what, but it's called the Super Fan Pack. It's $7 a balmy, but it is $96. So it is a lot of balmies. But just throwing it out in case you wanted more options. Honestly, if I get through this entire thing and I really enjoyed it, I'll probably get the three pack. I think that's a pretty good deal, 36 for three of these. And I would say compared to a lot of clean beauty, this is actually a pretty great price. But we'll see if it's actually worth your dollars once I put it to the test and get it on my face. So now let's talk about the lipstick. I got the shade Identity. Entity. Very cute packaging, gold. Get their logo right there. Very beautiful shade. This is great. Again, I'm pale. I love these light pinky colors. So the lipstick is $30. And I know that does seem pretty pricey, but actually the, my favorite lipstick I own right now and the only other one I own is also $30. And it's definitely money I would pay again for something that I go through pretty slowly. I also don't wear lipstick every single day. A lot of times it's just chapstick. So because of how long it's gonna last for me, the $30 was fine, but you might think differently if you feel like you're gonna go through it a lot quicker than I would. So again, vegan cruelty free, they say this is very silky and buttery. So very nourishing, which I hope is true because my lips get dry super, super quick. It says the tubes are made from 50% post-consumer recycled plastic. Oh, and at the boxes, I don't have these anymore. They came in these little paperboard boxes or these little 
paper boxes. It says the boxes are handmade from recycled trash by Women's Cooperative in Bali. So that's very neat. I wish I still had those to show you because they were very pretty. It says you can recycle or compost them. Mine is in my compost covered in food right now. So I'm probably not gonna go back out and get it to show you because it probably looks gross. And last but not least, we have the vegan crayon. This was because when I was messing with them, I put the top of the lipstick on instead of the crayon one and I like smushed it on accident. But I got the shade Vibration. Definitely a different color than I'm used to. It's definitely deeper so I thought it'd be a nice like date night color or something like going out color I don't know this one I actually haven't put on yet so I'm so pale like I'm scared that it's gonna look bad but let's hope and so these are $28 so a little bit cheaper than those lipsticks Ooh, hopefully things don't look too different my card was full and I had to fix that so the crayons apparently have the same amount of product as the balmies. So it almost makes me wonder if the balmy would be more worth it because you get to put it more places and it might not last as long because of that, but it makes you kind of wonder like, is the crayon worth it? But maybe it's formulated differently enough to where it's a really fantastic lipstick because they don't advertise that the lipstick and the lips crayon should also go on your face like the balmy. So yeah, I'm really excited. Let's bust out my mirror. I'll finish getting ready. I'll put on my blush and it on my eyelid and my lips and we'll test it all out. All right, we're testing this out on my phone just because I feel like it'll give you a good accurate, like how you'll see yourself. You probably won't mostly be looking at yourself through a DSLR camera anyways. Doing it right in front of a window so you can kind of see my skin, see what it'll look like on real skin. I don't have foundation on or a primer actually, so curious to see how this wears because I don't own a primer currently. But I just thought that people probably, if they take pictures of themselves, it probably won't be in a DSLR camera, most likely might be for you. And I just thought a phone would just be more accurate and you could really get up close and like see, see my skin and what's going on. So I'm gonna be looking over this way because I got my mirror over here. But first I'm gonna do this side and do everything everything blending with my fingers. And again, I am not a makeup expert. I'm doing like kitten stripes, I guess. I typically put on my blush really high up. Okay, this is blending pretty easy. As you can see, like my fingers getting stained. I hope that's not too much product coming off. We'll see. I think I put on like one swipe too many. They're blending pretty well. Maybe I didn't. Maybe three was enough. I wear a lot of blush, so this might not be your thing, but like, honestly, this is probably a decent amount like compared to what I usually wear. Okay, I actually have no complaints with the finger blend, honestly. It makes me not even want to do the like the brush side because I like that. Like look at the difference. You can see like all that color. It looks so good actually. Okay, let's do the eyelids. I probably shouldn't have put on mascara first, but I already got it on. So I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna do like, really, you gotta kind of rub it on your eyelid. My only fear with this shade is that I'll look like I have like pink eye or something like I don't want it to look bad or like I got punched in the face okay blending is pretty easy even with my mascara on which is good to know yeah this stuff blends like awesome like that took like two seconds okay I'm not sure look at me side to side you can see I have a lot more color on this side but like the eyes let me know does this look like bad does this shade look bad like maybe I should get one of the more like champagne-y so it looks like an eyeshadow I'm not sure if this just looks like I'm discolored or what but let me know what you think if you think the pink works or if I would need a different shade to do my lid because I actually do like how quick that is for getting ready for work okay and we're just gonna put this all over the lips I don't really love the idea of like touching my cheek and then my lips and going back and forth so I'm just gonna do the lip part with my finger see how it goes because I don't have a lip brush so I'm just gonna put it everywhere and then we'll test out the other lipstick so I'm just slapping it on with my finger okay maybe it would be a lot darker if you applied it but it's pretty light oh wow that looks actually that looks darker on here than it does in real life okay i don't think that colors for my lips i feel like that just like ruined that so i yeah i and it's not even i think i should get a trio honestly i feel like i need a darker shade here this is perfect and a champagne here so you can use it all over your face actually i don't know this is kind of growing on me it's kind of grown on me on my eye. So I feel like you could use all the same shade if you find the perfect shade. I got the trio now that I'm seeing it everywhere. I just don't think this is color for my lips. So I'm excited to test out the other lipsticks. Okay, same thing. I'm gonna do the same like three stripes over here. And then I have my brush. This is what I standardly use for that. <laughs> Look at my cheek, oh my God. Okay, so I feel like this is taking product from me. You see what I mean? Look how much darker this side is than this side. Like. Yeah, where did all my product go? So 
I feel like blush is a no-go. I'm gonna add more and blend it out with my finger, just like one stripe. Like, look at that. The finger is so much more pigment. So, I mean, they're right. It is made for your finger. You actually don't need a brush. So if you don't own a brush, like, don't be looking to me for sustainable brushes because I've had my brushes since, like, middle school. Like, I've had this one since I was a freshman in high school, I'm pretty sure. And it's, like, real techniques, nothing special. Yeah, I actually, I mean, maybe if you put on too much, you can actually use a brush to soften it because it really does lift the product but yeah i definitely recommend the fingers okay and let's do the eyelid again with brushes i'm gonna try out like this fluffier one and start with that and if not i'll go into this more tapered one okay yeah brushes on eyes are a no-go okay so just use your fingers it's easier it's better and you don't need to buy a brush if you don't have one so honestly like most things like i always say like blend br better with a brush but you could use your fingers but this is like weird because it blends better with your fingers. So I'm actually really into that. Like, I like that it does that. Okay, this side is already looking lighter. So I'm gonna take an old blush and I'm gonna set this side to see if it wears better than this side. So let's do that. Old brush, old blush, tap, tap, tap. Already looking more even, actually. Oh, 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 didn't mean to do that. That was like force a habit, obviously. It's definitely making this eyelid a lot darker. Looking a little uneven, but that's okay. Okay, let's go into the lipsticks. So first, we're gonna start out with the standard package lipstick. I'm really excited about this shade. I hope it looks good. I don't use lip liner, by the way. I'm so lazy. I don't do that kind of stuff. We are just going in. Okay, on camera, looks pretty normal. I, I do like the shade. It's a little bright. It's a little Barbie-y, but I feel like once I blot it, it'll look great. So shade-wise is great, but we are serving a little bit of granny lip vibes so yeah like i said i have dry lips it is definitely sinking can you see like straight into my lines like really really harsh it's a little more not matte it's not a matte finish necessarily but it feels matte on my lips i i, I was hoping it would be a little more nourishing my favorite lipstick that i own is basically like a pigmented lip balm like it's so great and so when i'm comparing it to one of my favorites this does not compare. I don't think it's up to par because of just mostly it's bothering me the way it's sinking into my lines. Like I'll still definitely use that because it's such a unique pretty shade that I don't own. But yeah, I'm definitely, definitely serving granny lips. Okay, so I'm just taking this off. Use just an old t-shirt for this. Like I don't use makeup wipes. I just use an old t-shirt and wash it. Like scraps of one. This is a soft one. And they work great and I don't even put makeup remover on it half the time. Just something so that it doesn't get on my fingers. So let's do lip crayon. I'm more nervous about this shade, but hoping the texture is better than this one because this shade, I mean, it honestly breaks my heart because I love this shade so much, but I just don't think it wasn't for me. And maybe if you had like smoother lips, I, I just have really bad lips. <laughs> like if you have smoother lips, maybe this will work for you. Maybe it is great. But just compared to my favorite, it wasn't for me. Yeah. Ooh, that is dark. Ooh, it's like, do you see that? It's like metallic. It's really pretty actually. I put that on in like the messiest way possible. I'm gonna blot this out a little bit. Okay, we are looking better. Okay, I like this one. I like the crayon. I like the crayon a lot actually. It has this like beautiful metallic sheen in it that I didn't know was gonna be in it and I did expect, but now that I'm really looking close at it, it does have like a shimmer to it. It's super pretty. And on top of that, it doesn't sink into my lines like this one did. It actually sits on top of my lips beautifully. Like. I really enjoy this and if I run out of this and once I run out of this I would definitely consider getting this in just a more like pinky everyday color because I like that a lot it is a somewhat matte finish it's like semi matte it's not totally matte I just if I were to choose one this one plus it's cheaper I mean the application might be a little different of getting used to because it's more of a crayon shape rather than a traditional lipstick shape but I think this is the winner I like this a ton on my lips and there was nothing wrong with the balmy on my lips in the way that it looked and felt it just wasn't the shade for me so i feel like between this and the balmy like those would be my picks and if you have smoother lips and you want that traditional lipstick tube then i would go with that okay final thoughts time i got my mirror i have work today i did a little bit of filming keep in mind i do work from home so I'm not doing like anything crazy, but I was kind of running around and filming today. So as you can see, this was the side that we topped off with blush powder and it's looking a bit darker. Actually though, the blush is still definitely over here. It's just darker on this side. So I would say if I was gonna go out running around like 
outside or going on a walk or I was gonna be out for the day, I would probably actually top it with blush, but good news, I don't think it's 100% necessary because just a day of kind of hanging around the house still looking pretty good and anywhere it did have it's definitely not patchy it still looks great and this lipstick is reapplied i reapplied it for filming but i will say that it weared very gracefully so as it did come off my lips and the color started to fade it it didn't fade splotchy or more in one spot it all kind of came off together which i really like so that i don't have to worry about like checking it and making sure i got a blend it in the middle of the day so yeah i i'm a big fan of the lip crayon and i am a huge fan actually seeing how my skin still has kind of a glow i didn't wear any highlighter today and as i look up close there's kind of some shimmer in those balmies that really gives you a nice look to the skin so I love these. Honestly, I do think these are worth your money. I do like the balmies a lot. But that is it for this video. If you have tried Axiology, let me know your thoughts below. Or if you have any other products you would really like to see me try, also drop that down below. But other than that, leave a like on this video, subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you next time.